I wanted to talk about, quote, good and evil prayers today, or black magic prayers and white and black prayers. Ultimately, it's all good. We know that we all learn slowly in a roundabout way. Just because it's a prayer doesn't mean necessarily that it's, quote, good, right? Most of the religions on the planet today are groups of people sending energy to leaders. That's succubus. That's vampire feeding energy. Whenever someone consistently says over and over again, pray for me, pray for me, I need your prayers. Really, I thought you were the leader to the only way to heaven. If you're the leader of some church that pretends it's the only way to get to heaven, then that leader has a direct connection to God, then why do you keep praying for the sheep to send you their blood and their energy? This is the blood of Christ. It's, it's feeding, it's cannibalism and blood drinking. I'm being direct and harsh with it, but it's the truth. We need to stop this now or wake up from it, you know? If you have a direct access to God, won't He heal you? Why do you need my little bad prayers? You know, I'm just a little poor, poor follower of you, the Master. So, real teachers always say, go direct to God yourself, you know? Now, that doesn't mean we don't pray for other people, you know? We can do that occasionally, but if there's a consistent energy feeding, send me your energy, your money, forced tithing, obviously that's unhealthy prayers. Real masters pray, not my will, but thy will. Nature knows what it's doing. The Grand Canyon behind me, it knows exactly what it's doing. It creates beauty, effervescing, effulging, exploding, orgasmic beauty wherever you go. Leave it alone. Your body knows how to grow. Don't interfere with it, you know. Pray, not my will, but thy will. The source's will. Leave it alone. It does beautifully. We all, you know, so these kind of black magic prayers that people do, send me your energy, obviously not healthy. The Anunnaki, the ancient Anunnaki, the Sumerian gods, the Elohim, plural, we are gods. The Elohim, the gods. Let's make man in our image. Our implies several beings, not just one. Those were beings who played now uh, a big fish in a little pond. You come to Earth, you convince the local Homo sapiens that you are a god because you've got these light stick, bang stick technologies, sky ships and all that, can float rocks and build pyramids, etc. Right? And some of them stay, and, but in order to stay on Earth and stay manifest, they need our energy because we are the genetically created humans for this. It's a little breezy up here today for this planet. So, praise and worship me. Real God doesn't need praise and worship. Source doesn't need praise and worship. You know, continual feeding. It's like Jabba the Hutt. Do you want to worship Jabba the Hutt? Well, you are. Most religions today that keep wanting praise and worship, God wants your love. He wants your relationship. When you have children, do you want them to come and praise and worship you in fear? Do you want them to lay down in front of you and feed you their energy and their money? No. You want your kids to grow into their own fulfillment. You wouldn't want your kids to give you their life force. You want their love. You want the best for them. You want connection. So any careful of gods that want you to praise and worship and keep feeding you their energy. Why? because they cannot get their own energy. I made a tape years ago called The Gods Are Afraid of Being Human, and this is about these fake gods. Most of the religions on the planet today are these mimicking ancient E.T. gods. Even the ancient Greek gods needed our prayers. You know? They needed our prayers to keep feeding them, to help them stay manifest in the earth aura, in the earth Van Allen belts. If you're interested in more of these tidbits, powerful awakening books. These books have, have little chapters of two to three, four pages in them that will wake you up in particular areas. Literally set your cells off. Awakening Souls by Tobias Lars on Amazon and Listening to the Sun. Also, very strong spirit told me here recently, the last, this last year, the time is now for personal awakening, not just understanding. Standing under is not the full picture. Overstanding, incorporating, integ integrating is the real thing. The alchemy process, alchemyprocess.com, the most ancient thing on the planet, is alchemy. 
We alchemize. It's all energy. It all shifts into different forms. This rock I'm sitting on is electrons, protons. These are just words. They are, it's, a, it's energy that is spinning and vibrating in certain ways. We are these energies. We are masters of energy. The alchem we are true alchemists. The alchemy process will show you, again, remind you. We have it inside us, but we've had it carefully forgotten by some power. Some people would say that have an interest in keeping us dumb and down on the farm and forgetting who we are. The alchemy process will help you wake back up to that. The inner body awakening is starting to feel this energy at a, uh, uh, concretely. The inner body awakening, people who have never done anything spiritual will feel this palpably inside them. All right. So remember, prayer.